practice notes. My name is Claire Druffner and today we'll be talking about how to practice a resonant basic good sound that you can play in anything. For this video I'll be using our practice notes practice process. I'll be giving some common problems, solutions, and exercises to develop this technique. So for our step one we're going to observe what's happening. Often a common problem that we all struggle with and that I really have struggled with is pressing slash too much tension. So for step one of our practice process, I'm going to observe what is happening. Initially off the bat, what I'm hearing is a very tight sound. Physically what's happening is a very vertical motion that sort of sounds like the, the sound of being strangled. First element of a slow bow resonant sound is the release, the beginning of the note. Second element is hearing a continuous ring in the sound. Then we have the contact or slow bow part of the sound where we have really good contact and the bow sits in the string. I really like that, that phrase like sits in the string. First I want to address the first problem I identified in step one which was we often press too much weight, too much pressure in a vertical motion. <laughs> So the opposite of that is to make a horizontal motion that has very little weight. We want to hold the bow in a very light way so that we're not having a lot of extra tension. And the first thing you want to practice is a long tone with a ringy note. I like to play A on the D string. And just do a down bow and an up bow all the way across very slowly and play with as little weight as possible. Now what might happen right away is that your bow loses contact. Your bow is so light, it sort of falls off the string. So our sort of way to help that is to think of the contact. Keeping your bow sinking into the string at that exact spot that your bow is going to be straight. So instead of falling off, you're just going to guide it through. Make sure it follows through. Now we want to listen for that ring in the sound. So if I play an open A or harmonic, the ring you hear after the note is played, after you release, that ring is what you want to hear inside of the notes. So this is what it will sound like. There's a certain hum that's going on opposed to where the hum and the ring is stifled. So again, just practice long bows. Little weight sinking into the string with your contact, guiding it through, and having that ring match what you hear in your ear. So right now the sound might sound very beautiful but very small, and you might be thinking, but how do I apply this to everything, especially in the louder, more powerful pieces? So how you're going to do that is you're going to manipulate these different variables, starting with the release of the note. If we don't release a note, but we still have that ring and the beautiful sound, it's going to sound like this. So right from the beginning of the note, I sort of stifled it by not releasing. Whereas if my arm releases a little bit and then sits in the string afterwards, opposed to just starting like this, so you're sort of going, yeah, and then the sound is allowed to sit within itself in that release that you already created. And then we're going to manipulate that release if we want a bigger sound. So I'm going to do this with my B and I'm going to do a small, yeah, small release. And let the bow sit in the string after and hear that ring. So is that good contact following through? Great. Now if I want a bigger sound, a bigger release, I'm going to do a bigger yeah. So even bigger sound we can manipulate our variable of contact so we're going to sit a little bit deeper in the string after a big release a little bit deeper. So yeah, and then pulling through in a deeper way so even then our sound doesn't sound super powerful by itself so it's not going to sound super powerful until you add the vibrato without vibrato 
this is with vibrato. So if I'm playing the beginning of Dvorak in the pressed way, this is how it would sound, sort of the before of what we just did. So. so that's how a lot of us try and get our big sound, but if I do it with a resonant sound, with the big release, the sitting in the string, the hearing the ring, the calm body, and then adding a vibrato, you're gonna get. It's gonna be a lot easier to play and a lot more satisfying to the ear. That ring is sort of, for me, the sign that I'm getting the sound that I want. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed if you learned from this video, please give it a like and share it. If you have other solutions or other problems or other exercises um, for this technique, please feel free to make a video and post it on Instagram or YouTube under the hashtag practice notes and then week three. And then we'll all be able to learn from your solutions and your exercises. Watching, I hope you have a wonderful day and I'll see you next week.